Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you could join me today. It's been quite a while since I've been able to share a story with you, so I am really excited about today's lesson. First, I've got a few things to show you. See if you recognize any of these logos. What about this one? Or how about this one? This one might be a little trickier. Or what about this one? Any ideas? Any ideas of what they might have in common? Well, if you said they are all team logos, you would be right. Have you ever been part of a team? All of these logos are for team sports because we cheer for a lot of team sports here at our house. Those are the kind of logos I had. But there are all sorts of different kinds of teams. A team is about a group of people that work together for a common goal. So thinking about some of the teams you might have been on, if you guys were ever part of our Christmas Eve service, you were definitely part of a team. If you go to school and your teacher ever asked you to work as a group on a group project, you were part of a team. And I think even being part of a family is being a, a part of a team. There's a group of people working together with the same goal in mind. But I'm wondering about this team. What are your first thoughts? Are you kind of wondering what the Bible has to do with a team? Well, I'm wondering, are you part of Team Jesus? Well, my guess is if you're watching this video, you are part of Team Jesus because you want to know more about him. Loving Jesus and learning about him are two important parts about being on his team. Today's Bible story is found in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 35 to 46. And as I read this story for you, I want you to try and listen very carefully to how the first followers of Jesus got to be part of his team and what they did for Jesus. The story goes like this. One day, John was with his disciples. Jesus walked by and John said, Look, there goes the Lamb of God. When they heard this, two of John's disciples left him and followed Jesus. When Jesus saw them following him, he asked what they were looking for. They answered, Teacher, where are you staying? He said, Come and see. And they went and stayed with him that day. Andrew, one of the two disciples of John, went to find his brother Simon. Andrew told Simon that they had found the Messiah. Messiah means Christ. Simon went to meet Jesus. The next day, Jesus went to Galilee. He found Philip and said, follow me. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one whom Moses and the prophets wrote about. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. Nathanael didn't think anyone, anything good could come from Nazareth. Philip told him, Come and see. This story talks about the first members of Jesus' team. In the Bible, this, these team members were called Jesus' disciples. Did you notice in the story that only one person was invited by Jesus? Philip was invited by Jesus to follow him, but all the rest were invited by other members of Jesus' team to come and see. 
When Andrew and Philip invited their friends to come and see Jesus, they wanted their friends to learn about Jesus and be friends with him. Andrew and Philip are being an example and showing us that Jesus wants us to invite our friends to be part of Jesus' team. The good news is that anybody can be part of Jesus' team. You don't need to go through trials to be chosen. All we need to do is love Jesus, learn about him, and share it with our friends, all the neat things we've learned about him. So, by listening to this lesson today, you are one step closer to being a big part of Jesus' team. You are already on the team, and now it's uh, our job to invite our friends to join. So I hope that there might be a small thing you've learned today that maybe you want to share with a friend about how Jesus invited his friends to come and see. Why don't you join me in prayer? Jesus, I am so excited to be part of your team. Thank you for allowing me and my family and friends and anybody who wants to be to be a part of your team. Help me to share with others all of the exciting things that I've learned about you. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, it was really great talking to you again, and I hope to see you really soon. But until next time, bye-bye for now.